I would exhort Michael Mangan yet again, if you have so much power to fundraise or gifting to fundraise, why don't you take a plane or flight to Oregon and call out Father Jeff Mewson about this, the heist of Asher Heifetz and then come back and do a full report. We're called to be charitable and you have gifts. And if you're too busy with these feminists that have taken over your order uh, so you can have cake parties with them, you're really not doing your job. you got to think about Princess Diana and what she did when her husband <laughs> kind of cheated on her. She went out into the world and she gathered souls for God. Whether she knew she was doing it or not, I don't know. But God used her as a vehicle to him through her kindness. And she was definitely not out partying. Uh, she may have appeared sometimes in public in dresses, but her I don't think really truly her heart was in it. Her heart was in the humanitarian charity that she loved so much. And I hope you can embrace that heart of Mother Teresa of Calcutta and uh, Pope John Paul II to have that worldwide nationwide charity in your heart to do all you can for these poor children starving in the poor countries and the war uh, could be relieved through our meager tiny little efforts but especially Asher because we have a duty especially through Bayside Prophecies to succor those who need especially spiritual help and this priest is, needs spiritual help in many, many ways. And uh, you know, basically, the men have turned into sissies. They're creating a lot of St. Joan of Arc type ladies that maybe don't want to be St. Joan of Arcs, but they've sort of turned into them, like Valentina, Sydney Seer, and Conchita, and um, this Akita Seer, and also Maureen Sweeney Kyle. They haven't wanted necessarily to become. St. Joan of Arc types, but it's been pushed, pressed upon them by the Holy Ghost and Our Lady because I do believe the men have become complete sissies. Sissies to the faith. The faith in tradition. They'll talk a lot about it. But if you want them to take action, the silence can't be more deafening.